Hi boys, today for social studies, we're going to go on a reuse treasure hunt. That's right, a treasure hunt. We're going on a treasure hunt just like the Super Kids characters have been going on this week. This week in social studies, we've been talking about the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Today, we're going to focus in on reuse. We're gonna learn how we can reuse items from around the house. Today's assignment is going to be very similar to our design thinking challenges. Now, every time that Mrs. Barrett, Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Drera, and I would give you a design challenge in school, we always gave you some sort of problem and you had to find a way to solve it. I have a problem going on in my teaching space. I have all of these pencils, markers, pens, and scissors, but I have no place to store all of these items. I was thinking about at school and thinking about my desk and where I usually store all of these items. I usually have some sort of container or an object to put them all in so that they can stay organized and there's a space for all of them. So my job for the day is I'm going to reuse something from around my house and put it together in a new way to create a storage space for my pens, pencils, markers, scissors, all of my teaching supplies that I need. So my first order of business was to go on my treasure hunt. I decided to check in my recycling bin. And I right away found an old coffee container. And I knew that coffee containers are shaped like a cylinder and that they're a great place for storing things. Now I needed to do something before I could begin to work with my coffee container. I needed to make sure I rinsed it out and gave it a good wash and dried it off before I could begin to work with it. Now once I did these steps, I took off th this label that was already on there. I was able to peel it off and I thought, you know, it would really look nice if I were to put my own label on my teaching supplies container. So I decided to take some steps to do that. All I had was some notebook paper. I didn't have any plain paper around my house and that's totally fine. So I just decided I was gonna use some notebook paper and I got a ruler and similar to the kente cloth that you made with Mrs. Barrett I made sure that I measured out how tall my container was. I looked at how tall it was and I made sure I measured along the paper that length and then I cut around the bottom. So once I used my ruler and scissors to cut around the bottom, I then decorated my paper so that I could have a nice colorful container. So I decorated it, I just did a, I, I wrote teaching supplies on it and I decorated it in red with some of my crayons. And then I made sure that I grabbed my tape because I knew I was gonna have to put tape on one side of the paper. So I put one side on the paper over here, one piece of tape on the side of the paper and taped that side down to the container or the cylinder of the coffee container. Then I wrapped the rest of the paper around and put one final piece of tape right here to make sure that 
it all came together. I put all of my teaching supplies in it and now I have a nice space to keep all of my teaching supplies neatly organized so I can grab them and know exactly where they are when I need them. Your job today is to think about a problem that you might have. Maybe your dog's toys are everywhere and you need to create a bin to put all of the toys for your dog in. Or Maybe your stuffed animals are all over your room and you need to create a way to organize your stuffed animals. Really get creative. Then you have to go on a hunt around your house to find something to reuse in a different way. If you're grabbing anything from the recycling bin or trash, please make sure that you wipe it down, that you rinse it off and let it dry. Ask a parent to help you with this. Once you're finished with your creation, you're gonna take a picture and post it to Seesaw. We are so excited to see what you come up with. Get creative and have some fun.